What the fuck is up? I tore my house apart yesterday looking for uh, a remote control. Come over here. I've had this Vizio television for like 10 years now. And I'm perfectly happy with it. I don't give a f- like. I'm one of these nerds that be like, how many HPQ is on? Your, your shit's only 800 by eight, 200,000 by 20 HPQ shit. Oh, you on that bullshit. I don't give a fuck. I just need something I can watch. Fucking watch movies on. I don't need the movie watching experience in the crib. Cause let's be real. I'm in my fucking house. I'm on the couch. I'm not like in some dark theater with these fucking awesome speakers that just bang. Come that are like they brought in some professional to like tilt them the perfect way. I'm sure some of y'all got that shit, and your neighbors fucking hate you because it's like go 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 go. It sounds like a fucking World War Three coming out of your goddamn house because Transformers is on. I remember like I went to go holler uh, Shout out to Ross At For Really Show Follow him He got funny memes um, That's a homie So I went to go ro- To Ross's house To talk to him He had that shit And he's got that shit The whole fucking Soundtrack That whole That whole Set up For the music And shit And I'm like Damn your neighbors Must fucking hate you And I know my I don't share no walls, so my neighbors don't really hate me, even though I just be banging shit all fucking night. Uh, yeah. That Transformers movie, all it was was just like a bunch of... all the, it, 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 it wasn't no plot line whatsoever. Like, they just shot at each other for fucking 40, 40 minutes straight. I watched the uh, 1917, which was pretty good. It's good. It's good. It was awesome. Not bad at all. I was surprised. But what did fucking kind of irritate me? Like, look, man, I get it. They're always like, oh, let's represent everybody and shit like that. To, like, I don't want to fu- like. It was like, I saw like three or four black soldiers and an Indian motherfucker. This is like England in 1917, bro. Like the odds for that shit to happen are fucking about the same odds of him making it there. and back. Like it was just, I already had to just suspend disbelief for all, all that shit. I'm like, bro, dog, like just sometimes... There's just sometimes in some places where people aren't going to be. And that goes for some other shit, bro. I don't want to be watching some motherfucking movie about fucking Saudi Arabia and 1500s and have some fucking blonde hair cat walk by and shit. Be like, hey, what's up? I'm smoking a hookah. <laughs> like, what the fuck is the deal, son? They're like, what the fuck is this? It don't make no sense. Just like, come on, man. Just tell me the fucking story, dog. If it makes sense, it makes front sense. I had to go look it up. It was, it was like fucking. I can't even remember how many people fucking died, but like, the percentages were minuscule, like one, like a percent or some shit. I was like, really, dog. I just saw three brothers chilling in England because there was a gang of brothers, like, yeah, you know, the gang of, gang of that shit was happening in 1917 fucking England during the goddamn war. I just want my shit to be real and make sense, that's all. It throws me off. It just throws me off. So I might have to buy a new fucking television. That's what all this shit is coming down to. I'm gonna have to fucking buy a brand new TV because I can't find, I can't find the. Uh, maybe I can just buy the, a new remote 
Yeah. That's what I would do. Do they, get, do, TV. do they have remotes? They got. Do they got remotes for televisions that are 10 years old? Oh, you can get one, program it in, get yourself going. Sure. eBay is good for that. that shit. Maybe, yeah, maybe you could. Yeah, I don't, bro, I don't want you in my house, though. I might just, I'd rather buy a television. <laughs> Fine. Take care, I'd man. rather buy a fucking TV than have you in my goddamn crib. You know what I mean? Like, real talk. I don't think so. I'm just saying, man. I don't know. All right. Offers out there. I appreciate it. I lo- yeah, huh. I'm gonna. Sc- I'm. I'm looking all over the place for this shit. I'm just glad I didn't lose it on the DVD section. I lost it, so I'm stuck on the streaming section. So I can stream. I just can't watch any of my DVDs. But the problem is, is you can't. You can't download everything. And I got like certain movies that I just got that you just can't download. So. And it, like it's just nice to be able to control the volume and like little things like that. I don't know what the fuck I did with that shit. Right now I'm looking at my fucking old ass DVD thing. I got a Roku from fucking Ro- 2000. Yeah, I got a Roku from fucking. <laughs> It's funny, man. I give a f- like. I really love all of my like all my radio, uh, like all my fucking old radios and tape decks and and out al- and uh, record players. I really love them shits. I've spent so much money on records and shit, and I got like a Roku from a used Roku from eight years ago. That doesn't does that still work? Yeah, motherfucking yeah, yeah, bitch, going going strong. I had to reboot it yesterday because it was it was it was running a little rough. I don't know if Damon Johns is coming in or not, but I was I was watching my uh, it's calling in or not, but I, I was watching my Shark Tank shit just ready. He'll be back. He just has to work something through. He'll be fine. Got to handle this shit. He's got shit to handle. Um, deal with a misunderstanding. Yeah, he's got to deal with some shit, and we'll have Damon sooner or later. We will have Damon sooner or fucking later. But hell yeah, I'm all caught up on like I'm boned up on that motherfucking Shark Tank shit. I caught. I think I watched. 17 episodes in two days it's amazing what you can do when going outside frowned upon mm. I took a little walk and shit I did chores yesterday it was really great doing some chores today what are your chores I'm just uh, like laundry linens I'm getting a fucking. I gotta buy. I gotta. I gotta buy a uh, a mattress cover. A mattress cover. Yeah. I just Waterproof or what? What's that? Waterproof or what? Not waterproof, but just something that I can throw in the goddamn. Something that I can throw in. Something that I can wash. Cause I end up having to wash the top of the mattress of my mattress, and I'm soaking shit up, and it's fucking like. And if you don't think ahead of time, or like, yo, we gotta lay down a bunch of fucking tiles, cause it's about to get, we about to go in. And like, after you've been smashing for a while, like a bu- like fluid, you don't notice it, and then. The next day, you're like, damn. Got to mop this shit up, son. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Thankfully, I haven't... Uh, what's that? Thankfully, I've not uh, wet the bed recently. But years ago, when I was really going for it with booze, there were a couple nights where I wake up. I was like, oh, shit. I actually just urinated in the bed. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and I did that with a lady once there. She was a fucking champ, though. It didn't fade. I mean, it, she didn't like it, but uh, she stuck with me for a bit longer. I was like, whoa, she's a keeper. 
Hell yeah. Well, how did you lose that one? She put up with you pissing the bed the first time y'all hung out? <laughs> it wasn't the first time. She, she knew me. She's like, John, you should hold yourself. She must have hated herself. Like, yo, dog. <laughs> Yo, you you know, the, what did you what did you say to her? What did you say to her when you woke up? Cause she must have uh, woke up in in that yeah. shit too. Oh, it's fucking terrible. It's just that moment of oh wow. Uh, sorry about that. And so you know we got to take the sheets off, put the bed against the wall, and uh, you know the next day was a little rough, but uh, we kind of moved past that. But it was it was unpleasant to put it mildly. So. Don't do that. Man, that's the thing, man. Like, really? Like, if you could just, like... In a perfect world, they would have beds that just sucked everything through. <laughs> and you're good. And you could actually just piss the bed. You never have to leave. Oh, bro, it feels so good pissing the bed, dude. Like, yo. <laughs> I don't know if that's the word, but... Man, are you kidding me? You're fucking knocked out. You're like, you're deep in some dream about fucking having to go pee or walking into some warm water pool or some shit. And just the warmth, the warmth, it gets all nice and warm and all cozy. And you, you, you can, you can only enjoy it for however, how smart you are. You know what I mean? Like, I can enjoy it for like 0.2 seconds. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. I'm like, God damn it, I went the fucking bed. And then you think about the 40 things you're going to have to do. I don't have to fucking peel this shit off. It's going to smell like goddamn fucking ferret. Shit fucking sucks. You got, their, you got a fucking, you got, you got the wet goddamn towel trying to sop up the fucking piss. Oh, fucking yeah. It sucks, it's dude. A, it's a project. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like, look, man, a lot of y'all girls squirt, but a lot of y'all girls are like, pissing and fucking doing all types of shit you know what I mean and I'm like when you're deep in that shit when you're just fucking and like shit's going all over the place like I, I don't you know I'm gonna be like hold on a second let me double let me check and see what this one is I don't care like if we've been going at it for like a couple hours and we're both high as hell on shit like what the fuck do I care even if I fuck the piss out of you. All right, there we go. I fucked, we, we fucked so hard that you fucking pissed the bed. This, this shit didn't feel pissy, but I did wake up to a fragrance, and I was like, God damn it. Ugh. I'm going to have to fucking sop the shit up some more, and then I, I, fl I flipped it, bro. I flipped, I, flipped, I flipped it so like that that little part is in the bottom corner. By where uh, whoever's sleeping, sleeping or laying down would be fucking, and it'd be their feet. Like that shit doesn't even heat up. Like they, they'll have no idea. But it's hitting me right in my core. Mm. Like right at your core, where you get the hottest, and you're just sitting there under fucking covers, and all of a sudden you're like, "What the fuck is this, dude?" So right now I got that shit soaking. Once, once I get, once I get done with y'all, I'll fucking get it going. Ugh. I know I was so bummed. I was just like, for real, dog. Hmm. I was out in that bitch with everything, man. I had Lysol, Febreze, the shit that you clean, that you like, the shit that you clean fucking couches with. I had that shit. Couch everything cleaner. I ain't know, you know, like the couch cleaner, the upholstery cleaner. I had upholstery oh, cleaner man. on that shit. I had, I had everything. Pushing down, pushing it down, sopping it up. Had weights on it to try to like push down as far as I can and get all of the moisture up. <laughs> Didn't do a fucking thing. So yeah, we get. I'm just gonna get a fucking. Uh, when the mattress pad, so that way you can just whoop, zip it off, throw it in the motherfucking wash, put it right back on. Bob's your uncle. Fucking crushing that shit. That's a good plan. What's that? That, that sounds it's like funny a good that, plan. I it's funny it. that, like, I'm talking about, like, getting pussy and, like, fucking up the smell of the bed, and then you're talking about just pissing the bed. 
Uh, For all of y'all, if you're just tuning in and never heard this show, and you're probably like, what the fuck is this? My name is Jude. This is an all-out show. John is the producer and the nerdiest motherfucker in all of hip-hop. The more you listen, the more you'll understand, but just know that somehow I tripped and fell across the nerdiest man. He's nerdy. He's one of the nerdiest men in the world, but in all of hip-hop. Easily the nerdiest man in all of hip-hop. Well earned. You don't even take advantage of it. You're a loser, nerd. You're not even like on top of it, nerd. Hey, I've got some some plans in the in the works. Got strategy. You got some post corona fucking uh post corona. What's that shit where you show up and shake everyone's hand and take pictures and all that shit? Appearances. Uh, you got some no. post corona appearances. Man, you can even charge extra. Be like, look, man, I would love to, but this Corona shit's got me really nervous. It's gonna be X amount. And just charge them extra. There's gonna be a Corona tax. <sighs> well, I mean, there were some people who wanted to just hang out with me. I mean, even on their birthdays, uh, they would come like, "Hey, come to the bar and hang out." And uh, I, I, I should have pulled the trigger on that. But uh, in the coming year, yeah. once all of this clears up, hey. If you want me to hang out, sure. And you were there gonna be flying around the country, which seems yeah, crazy, out. but if someone's up to it. I'll sure fly me out yeah. to Kentucky. You don't think that you phone. deserve it. I, you don't think you deserve it, so you don't fucking. You're like, eh, I don't want to do it. Uh, I find out who's sending, sending me all of the fucking the fists and gloves and the weird masks and shit. It was my mom. Who's that? My mom. What? <laughs> Your mom? It's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Quit sending me weird fists and shit. Like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this late these latex gloves? What am I gonna do with them? She sent them anonymously. You didn't see this was from. Yeah, long. she wasn't like, "Hey, this is from your mother." It's just like I'm getting weird boxes of the latex gloves and these fucking weird masks that smell like fucking the hospital and like shitty lotion that your homegirl sells on Facebook. just yeah it's just fucking yeah it's like huh. like you don't even know, know the weird shit I did with those gloves <laughs> I played doc I played doctor with those gloves and guy grimy you ever want to get weird with your girl grab some latex gloves and be like we're gonna play doctor lay down mm. so let's play a little bit of doctor Sounds a long Sidebar time. shit. Um, I think you sent it, sent this to me. 80, like, 80% of people would be afraid to go back to work now. Right? Some shit. Like that. Yeah, 80% of people surveyed said that they would be concerned about heading back into the office if things opened up. First off, who the fuck? Who, like, who does surveys? Lames. Lames do surveys. Lames do surveys. Secondly, they need to talk to people that actually are running business and stuff like that. People that are actually really losing money. See, they got it set up where people are actually come, coming up. Somehow this shit is actually costing me even more money. It's not just, you're not just getting unemployment. You're getting shit on top of it. Some people are actually making more money than they were before. Yeah. So it de-incentivizes people wanting to go out and work, and they're like, okay, I'll just stay in here and get paid more. But what you don't understand is they're trading you, they're trading you your fucking nuts and your ovaries for a little bit of a little bit more money, you fucking bitch. Boss up, go work for your money. And if if you're a person like me that gets paid no matter what. Like, you really don't have anything to say on whether or not, like, people should be able to, like, go back. You know what I mean? Like, or at least be against it. It's like, bro, we're getting paid no matter what. I got motherfuckers out here that are not getting paid shit. They filling out. They're getting, like, some $10,000 fucking loan on a business thing. You know, I ain't shit. I got buddies that, you know. 
my backgammon folks, people like I've known forever, man. Like, yo, dude, they're you know, they got two businesses. They can't do shit with them. No, oh, I know. Killing them. They're, get, they're getting killed right now. They're getting murdered. I'm watching my homies get murdered. So I'm guessing you're not uh, frightened of going back to work. I w- the more the the thing I'm frightened about is if I would I would want to go get another test. I'd want to go get another test. I had to go in because I I had I had uh. I had enough. I had enough shit going on, uh, symptoms, to make me think I may have had that shit. And you know me, like I'm pretty, like I'm not like a hypochondriac here. So like I had enough symptoms to make me go check that shit out. And uh, I just wouldn't want to show back up to work, not being all the way good. You know what I mean? Like, right. But yeah, I'd love to be able to come back to work. Yeah, I mean, I'm not frightened of it at all. I mean, I, I think you and I, well, I know you and I would be careful. So, I mean, that's really the only concern. But to the idea of being that frightened of it, no, that's just not. not well, I don't know why they wouldn't be, wouldn't be that frightened of it. The fucking 24-hour fear-mongering that, that the news has been doing to you. The fucked up stats. They can't trust every. They they can't test everybody. Like so, we don't know how many people actually fucking have it. And of those people that do have it, it might not even be that bad because they're just walking around with the shit and they don't know they have it. So therefore, it's not even that bad. And then from that, the deaths. Anything you you can literally get hit by a motherfucking speeding Camaro, and if you got the coronavirus in you, they're gonna say. You died from coronavirus. So your whole the, the whole death the whole the whole statistical thing is is wrong. How are we supposed to make an educational how are we supposed to make educational decisions if our if our stats are all fucked up? It's a learning process. I'm trying to figure things out. Not a learning process. It's just a way for people to fucking people are profiting off of this shit, dog. Trust me. They just, they just fucking, they, they just, you know, this is just a fucking. There's, there's all these conspiracies. I don't, I'm not even want to jump into the conspiracy theory thing, shit. Oh, please but don't. Like, I don't, I don't want to jump into it. But all I know is, the statistics are fucked up. The way that they, the way that they measure it is wrong. It's not accurate. And I, and and there's private businesses that aren't allowed to open. Because the government said so, and I have to walk around. I'm I'm forced to be to walk around in a certain way. And they've turned they've turned other citizens into snitches. Where that's where we're now we we we're at a point where we are now telling on one another. Crazy man. Fucking crazy. Keep your head. Keep your head. Be patient. We'll get through this shit. That's all I can say. But I'm just. Wa- but be aware too, man. Be aware and question shit. When they tell you shit, go look on. Go look it up. L- and look it up four different ways. They'll have some shit that'll go against what they're saying. They'll take it off of Facebook or they'll take it off of YouTube. A doctor will be like, no, I didn't, didn't, I'm not having that experience. It's not happening like that with me. They'll take it off of YouTube. Well, that was misinformation, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, you been putting misinformation up. That shit's still up. His misinformation just goes against what you believe in. So, let's play some music. Got uh, what would you do? And basically, what we do is 213 205 3747. 213 205 3747. And uh, sign up with that, and then I send out a fucking text 
of how you can call into the show and then we, we do calls. All right? Don't go nowhere. I got you. Let's go. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. It's like a ray of light beaming down knowledge from the heavens above. What would you do? Need advice? Call us up right now. now. 888 Shade 45. What would you do? do, do. Shade, Shade, Shade 45. What up, though? It is, uh, what would you do? I'm here to help you. If you got a problem, call up right now. 888 742 3345. We got a young lady online. What's your name? Leslie. What's up, Leslie? Where are you calling from? Uh, Kentucky. All right. Leslie in Kentucky. What is your problem? Okay, so my mom, she, you know, has since retired, and she's been buying a bunch of stuff. Like, she buys, like, she bought a new kitchen set, and that was the same kitchen set me and my husband have. Then she goes on all these trips, and I said, what are you doing? And she said, I'm trying to spend all my money. I was like, what are you talking about before I die? And basically, she's like, so you get nothing. And here's the thing. Okay, so why would you say that? And then she's like, except for the insurance, because I can't do anything about that. So, but I just thought that was really hurtful. But what would you do? It's her money. I would be like, that's cool. All right, so let me me re-explain it. Because your phone line broke up. And correct me if I'm wrong. Wait, your mom bought you a a kitchen set? No, no. She bought her kitchen set just like mine. Okay, okay. Okay, so she bought herself a kitchen set, and she's going out on vacations. And then you're like, what are you doing buying all this shit? And she was like, I don't want to fucking, I don't want to fucking, I don't want you to have any money when I die. And you're like, well, that's fucking hurtful, right? Yeah, it's her fault. It's her money. I mean, I don't understand it. You know, it's her money. She can do what she wants with it. I understand that she only has one child. And uh, one grandchild. Um, I get that, but it's her money. I would be like, that is cool. I would would answer this. Be like, look, that hurts a bit, but that's cool. I understand. I understand. I I respect where you're coming from because you don't understand it clearly. You're calling me. Um, I respect where you're coming from, but just make sure you got enough money to take care of yourself because I'm not going to take care of you. Right, I do. Well, okay. Well, see, I don't want to do that. I do want to take care of her if anything happens to her. But that's why it's so hurtful because she knows that I would because that's the type of person I am. But she'll take care of the rest of the cousins who don't want to take care of themselves. So you're feeling jealous. You're feeling hurtful and jealous. And look, man, I don't know. I don't know how deep. I don't know. Maybe your mom's fucking resents you. Maybe she, uh, maybe she's competitive with you. I don't know what the fucking deal yeah, is. Yeah, she is. She's very competitive with me. Very. All right, man. All right, so there you go. So you got you got a mom that was competitive with you, and that sucks. That that's a real shitty thing right there. That's a that's a thing that is hurtful. There's really nothing you can do about it. That's all on her. Accept her for what she is. I've got parents who are competitive with me, and it fucking blows. And the the thing is, is and they've th- there's been times where they come into money and I ain't see shit. And guess what? I it's kind of hurtful. But at the other end of the at the at the at the end of the day, it's not my money. It's their money. They can do whatever the fuck they want with it. True, true. So it's like, okay. what the fuck do I care? What do I care? Family member lays my okay. sister didn't didn't look out for me. It was, and we're siblings. Like all right, fine, right. fuck it. Like I'm like just. But but also just be like, look, man, just be wise. Just tell her be wise with how you spend your money, because if shit goes bad, I don't got you. Right. Okay. And like, look, then you she's got life insurance, and you'll get some life insurance. You yeah. don't deserve her yeah. money. The, these people that these people think that they deserve their parents' money. No, I don't think I deserve it. I just say it was hurtful. I make my own money. I All I right, work okay. two and three jobs and don't even have to. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you, so you work. You're a hard worker. That's good. Your mom helped instilled something positive in you. And um, so so whether that was she was a shitty worker and it made you want to work harder, 
um or or not but uh like yo just take that shit on the chin don't don't take it so personal and the other thing is is like if you really got a problem with her talk to her about it this ain't it right Right. This ain't it. This okay. ain't the real problem. The real problem is like, hey, ma, I feel like you're competitive with me. I love you. I don't want to be competitive with you. You're my mom. I want to be able to tell you things and have you not fucking throw shade at me. And I, like, if something good happens, I want I want to be able to share it with you. I feel like I can't do that, and it really is, it hurts. It hurts me. How can what can we do to get past this? And she'll, she'll probably okay. deny this shit. You know what I mean? But like, just yeah. <laughs> fig, fig, yeah. figure out what the real problem is, and address that, and then go from there. But just pro, just just probably know that she won't even be able to fucking deal with that. Okay. Because you got a stunted ass mother. Yeah. Well, thanks, Jude. You got it. Keep your head up. Know that she loves you, even though that she's broken. All right. I love the show, and and I met thanks. you when you came to Louisville. We're the ones that gave you candy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Thank you. I, I really had the, a nice um, time in peanut, Louisville. The peanut brittle. <laughs> oh, yeah, that shit was fire. Yeah, fuck that shit up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All you. Right, take care. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your, keep your chin up. Don't, you know, like I said, don't take it personal, even though it is personal. But, like, psh, if it if it was, it, you, she could have had any daughter, and it would have, that, unless that daughter was like kissing her ass and sucking her dick, it, it probably been the same way. All right, what, what else we got? Got Jade over in Detroit. Jade, what up, Jude? How you doing? You got it. What's your What's your problem? What's going on with you? All right, so I've been in an on and off again relationship with a man for two years now, and uh, we went out drinking and driving Saturday night, and he went to jail, and we had just gotten back together two weeks prior. I want to hold him down. I want to put money in his account, all that fun stuff. Uh, but should I? What should I do, Jude? How long were you guys back together for? Two weeks. You guys were back to be- together for two weeks, and you were on mm-hmm. again and off again for two years? Mm-hmm. Um, look, man, just be... <sighs> It's weird. And you're not technically his girlfriend. Clearly. Mm, we haven't put a label on it, no, but I feel like I'm his girlfriend. I mean, I feel like I can hold him down. I want to hold him down. How much is it going to cost you? 50 bucks, 100 bucks, some shit like that? I actually just went out and got a job the other day so I could fund his account. And I'm throwing me 10 here, 10 there, just so I can talk to him. Yeah, I mean, I guess you do that, but like, what's he looking at? Uh, he's looking at prison. We're talking two to four. Really? How many fucking DUIs yeah. did he have? Twelve? Uh, he didn't have his license when we got pulled over. Man, he needs a better lawyer. Yeah. Two to f- two. Well, to he f- was out on bond on a different count. Oh, uh, what was he out on bond for? Uh, a felonious assault. Yeah, he's taking that to trial. That situation's really fucked up, and he don't he he oh, he don't deserve what he's going through. He really don't. He's taking it to trial as he should. Um, all right. So they, so they, they already know they got that on him. So they're going to throw this crazy like that, that fucking a DUI without a license. Ain't no fucking, that's not crazy jail time. Yeah, no, you know what I mean? No, I mean, no, I don't yeah, think he's crazy definitely jail time. Oh, they're using oh, that. I didn't they're know using that. that. I no, 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 no. They're using that as leverage. They're using that as gotcha. leverage. In this other case, like how many motherfuckers do you know in prison right now with one DUI? Like, what you get you for? DUI once, <laughs> right? Like, I don't like pfft, fucking prison. You know what I mean? Like, here's here's what I want you if to take can- a look at. Just stop. Mm-hmm. All right, it sounds it sounds like you're in a relationship with a dude that's perpetually in trouble. That's always in trouble. Mm-hmm. That's in trouble a lot. How old are you? I'm 31. All right, you're 31, and you probably you probably been doing some hard living, kind of going crazy, doing all that shit. Uh, I mean, I I grew up on the streets. So I ain't gonna lie. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. I hear you. Like I can tell. I can I can hear in your voice like, that you've been through some shit. And uh, but like, yo, you gotta stop. You gotta stop and be like, look, man, is this what I want for my life? Right. That's a that's a big question to ask myself. Here here is the deal. It's be it's not even the money. It's it's about do you want to hold it down with this dude? And you can be you can and if the answer is yes, I it here's 
I, th you do want to hold it down with him. That's your answer. What about if he goes yeah. to jail? What are you going to do? Sit there and just fucking wait for him for I'm fucking right three? I'm going to call him. You don't think you're like... I don't know, man. This is like... I get it. You guys were on and off for two years, but like... The fact that you guys couldn't even string two years together is kind of fucking shaky. Right, I hear you there. And, and I think the, a lot of the, the reasoning yeah. is because he held me down. He's held me down at times. He's been there for me, you know, and I feel like it's my turn to be there and hold him down. All right, he's held you down. How so? Um, He's been there for me emotionally, uh, financially. I mean, he's just, he's always been my go-to guy. He's always been that one that's on here. I got you, baby. For two years, sometimes when you're getting along, that's well, not always. It, it, yeah. It's a little more complicated than that. Um, I actually met okay. him when I was married, and oh the divorce happened, and we didn't get together for about another six months after the divorce. We were together for a year solid, and then broke up. All right, look. Why don't you? Uh, I don't. I don't necessarily think that. Uh, I don't know, man. Like you, this is what you want to sign up for. Like I, I understand there's something to be said for, for being like, for being loyal, especially to someone that you feel has been loyal to you. But right, him throwing you s some money to help you out here and there, and looking out and being emotionally supportive, is just him being your boyfriend. It's just what boyfriends do. You guys aren't boyfriend and girlfriend yet. True. And like, and now he's looking at fucking, it's, it sounds like the other charge is a bigger deal. Now, now, now he's looking at some real shit. Like, this is what you want to sign up for? It's definitely something I need to take some consideration into if I'm going to do it. And, you know, if I don't hear from him in a couple days, I'm out. If you don't call me in a day Why? or two, I'm if out. If you don't I hear from him, well, he, ain't got, he ain't got shit to do but play dominoes. And duck walk. Exactly. Exactly. Like you'll hear they got from him. him holding right now. Yeah, you'll hear from him. He's got shit else to do, and you're his one life. You're one of his few life supports. So trust, you'll fucking hear from him. I just don't think it's the best idea to fucking like. Look, man, this is you. Th you're throwing all your eggs in this basket. You must hate yourself. I hear you. You must not think I very do. highly of I yourself. Do. I know it shows. Ugh. See, see, John wants to save you while you're trying to save this dude. John wants to hop in with the cave, uh, cape and save your ass. I'm not trying to save you. I'm just telling you, bro. Like, I get it. I get it. I understand shit. But, like, hey, man, he's you. a grown-ass man. Like, you can even tell him. Be like, look, I'm, I'll be there for you through this trial, through this trial shit. But if it goes bad, I'm gone. Right. That maybe is the best and, thing I should do. And, I, I and then be that's like, you know, stop, 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 stop. And be like, look, man. And if you start, if you start bringing that shit up and try to guilt me about it, it's done. Like, just like, just understand this. I'm there for you. You've been there for me. I'll fucking hold you down. But keep, keep a guard up, man. You got to keep, you got, you got to keep your guard up. Keep boundaries. Only like, I'll talk to you. I'll, I'll talk to you once a week. I'll keep money on your books. I uh, I'll be there to help you get through some shit. But like if you're going to prison, I ain't I'm not gonna be there waiting for you for three years. You in Michigan, you 31, people aging dog years out there. So by the time he gets he gets to be fucking let's say he goes to he goes to trial by the by the time you 32, 33, he gets out, you 35, 37, motherfucking that's like 20 years in Michigan. You know what I'm saying? You 50, you a 50 year old. You know, like, look, bro, like. He's 38. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about how old he is. I'm talking about you. I hear what you're saying. I'm going to be an old woman by the time he gets out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it sucks for women, but your market value does go down as you get older. Being able to fucking have a kid is a fucking plus for a guy. It just is a lot of times. Um, right. So, look, man, do what you're going to do, but just, I don't, I personally don't think that you could do what I just told you to do, to be like, look, man, here's, you, here's the boundaries you need to set. You need to tell him this, that you're going to hold him down. But if he goes to jail, you got to go. Cause you're not going to, you, you, you cannot afford to be around him for that long. He'll, he might even say yes. And then finesse your ass into fucking stick around for the whole stretch.
It's hard to say how it's going to play out. Well, hopefully, yo, hopefully he beats everything and you guys are fucking golden. But like, yo, just just know this, man. I don't like you deserve more than you deserve more than fucking like and you think I Uber, dude? Like you over here d- catching DUIs with fucking with some fucking dudes, you know? Like or, or go drink at the crib. What the fuck you right. doing? And then he was smart. He blew. Take me to the hospital. Take blood. Like what? What? So not only is he a fuck up, he's a dumb fuck up. He did argue with them for a minute about doing the blood, but they said we're gonna take you anyways. Just get in because he was out on bond. So. It would have gave it would have gave him six hours, four hours to for, to to get some alcohol out of his system. Right, true that. True so that. so you got a so you got a dumb fuck up. That's what, that's what you're that's who you're holding down a dumb fuck up. Probably isn't the best move. Nope. But like, if that's what you think you deserve, keep doing it. If you I don't think, think I you deserve, deserve better than that. Dude. All right, then behave that way. Thank you, Jude. You got it. Next, let's go to Dante. Dante, what's up, Dante? What's happening, Jude? You got it. What's your problem? Simple. Do I take the layoff at work and get guaranteed money for the next couple months? Or do I go to work and uh, risk uh, not getting all my hours because uh, maybe not wearing the proper PPE? What's a PPE? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Personal protective equipment. So like oh. uh, face mask. Now they're requiring us to wear face masks. Uh, for the whole 10 hour shifts and if you don't have your face mask you get sent home without pay sent home without pay sent home without pay for not wearing ppe jude look what bro, would you man, do the way, look i would take the pay i'd take the money so you said take go the money and, off and- yeah and look bro i was just i in the intro i was just talking about like man don't take these layoffs is like it's a scam. Like, don't believe it. Cause I really, I really feel like people need to work. Like you got to work. Working makes you fucking sane. Producing thing makes, producing things make you fucking feel sane. Makes you feel helpful. Uh, and, but the fact that you not abiding by these rules could actually cost you money. Like, I don't even know if that's legal. Like if you put in set, let's say, let's say you put in eight hours of work they caught you on your ninth hour. What, you don't get paid for those eight hours? Like, what? And I don't know what you do, but, uh, and the mask, that's the crazy shit. I'm out here, like, every time, every now, every time you leave outside in California, you got to have that mask on. Like, you just yeah, got to have that Yeah, I'm a heavy equipment on. operator. So I run yeah, heavy it's, it's, equipment. And, like, I get it, man. That mask is harder. It, it, to me, it actually makes breathing harder. Like, it, it, it the, the irony of this shit. Is it actually like makes it harder to fucking breathe with the fucking mask on? Um, I look, bro. I'm usually not for this, but the way that this is structured, it's almost like they're pushing you to take to take the fucking. It's almost like your job is pushing you to take that shit. Okay, so that's, I would, the way I- that's what that's what it sounds like. It sounds like they want to make you take that shit, and like to have these little fucking. If you if you don't have if you're not doing everything right precisely, you lose all your money sounds like some bullshit to me so i just take the money wait it's gonna be a month or two i'm guessing i'm yep. guessing i can't tell um and then go back to work and try to stay busy but i'm telling you bro like this is not working it'll, it's gonna be a it'll, it'll if, especially for you you've been busting your ass for a while like first couple weeks gonna feel great but it sucks you're not gonna be able to go nowhere and nowhere this isn't like going on vacation this ain't like oh I, can go, oh I got time off. I can go out to go out to dinner and go see a movie. Ain't none of that shit. You're just stuck. Maybe maybe you can go to a fucking national park and wear a goddamn mask or some shit like that. <laughs> uh, I'm saying like real talk, but like there ain't ain't none of that like just regular fucking got time off and go around the go around the town and fucking do some shit. You actually got to go plan something, and then yeah. uh, just try just try to stay busy. But like not working and not going out, it wears on you. And cats that have been like, talk to cats that, that have been doing this for like the, the, for thirty days, bro. Like we're going crazy, man. Like this shit is fucking shit ain't right. You're going crazy. Yeah, yeah. My girl's but, at the house going crazy, about to pop the baby out in about four weeks. So, all right, so this will give you a decent opportunity to be around, help out, 
with her crazy ass. Um, and then uh, when do you, when do you have to make this decision? Uh, it's it's not a decision I have to make. They haven't. We implement it starting Monday. Okay. So I have a few days to kind of get my Take get this, it together. I, I would. I would stretch it out as long as possible and then hop on their fucking shit. Check and see when the last day is and do it the day before okay. that. That's how I do it. Okay. Okay, yeah. rude Jew. Well, I appreciate yeah. it, man. That way you don't got to be around your fucking moody pregnant wife too damn long. As much as you love her, she's going to be a fucking maniac. Uh, that's, uh, we going to make it. We going to get it right. That's what we going to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's temporary, dog. It's temporary, and half of that shit is hormones. It's got nothing to do with you. All right, man, peace. Who else we got? Let's go to Will over in Chicago. Will in the shot. What up, shot time? Get down. It's my Yo, fucking what second up, home. Dude? What up, Will? What's going on with you? What's your problem? Yo, so this is about one of my exes. Um, I was together with her for about a year, and then I left okay. her. And then uh, about, I don't know, a year later, she comes back. <laughs> Saying how she's been with someone, but she fucking can't stand him. So okay. I kind of jump back in with her, and you know she winds up breaking up with him, and we kind of start shit back, back up again. And um, that goes for about I don't know eight months, right before this quarantine shit started. And then I don't right. know where, um, I don't know where she drops like, "Yo, I started seeing somebody else," and then. Uh, yeah, so that's the last time I heard from her. And then a few days ago, she just starts hitting me back, trying to see what's up. What do you think you should do? What do you I think I'm going to tell you? What do you think I'm going to tell you? I think you're going to tell me to kick this bitch to the curb. Why do you think I'm going to tell you that? Because it's obvious. What, what What's obvious about it? Why do you think I'm going to tell you that? Why? Why? What about, what about this makes me think that? Because... Because this bitch didn't stand by my side. Yeah, the only time that she called you is when she needed you. And when she stopped needing you, she fucking ghosted you. And when shit didn't work out again, she fucking hit you up again. Yeah. What are you, a bitch? Yeah. Are you a bitch? Nah. Well, fuck her. Fuck her. Yeah. No, you're goddamn right. And the other thing is, like, don't try to be it. Don't, don't. Also, you got to respect You got to respect your emotions. Clearly, you guys been together for a while. You got feelings for her and all that shit. You can't just fuck her on and off, on and off, on and off. You can't do that. Yeah, so and that's where I kinda, like, that's that's where I went wrong. Yeah, bro. She, you can't be casual with her. You can't like, you can't I walk tried being back. casual. We tried to just fucking just uh, you know, play it all casual. We didn't put a label on shit. But then she dropped like, yeah. "Yo, I started seeing somebody," and that just kind of fucked up my day. And then I was like, all right, well, fuck off, you know. And now she's coming, hitting me back. And, uh, you know, that's really it. I don't know if I should. I don't yeah, know I, know. I, I, already heard, I, already, I already heard this story, bro. You told it to me once. Yeah, I, but I don't uh, know how I so, should go about, uh, I guess, the next, what I should. The next, the so next. the next thing, just be like, I'm good on you. Just be like, no, I'm good on you. I don't think it's going to work out. If she says, why don't you think it's going to work out? Because And then you'd be like, the only time you hit me is when you need me. And then when you don't, you ghost. And she'll probably try to argue back. Be like, okay, that's great. I'm good. I'm good on you. Fine. So what, block her number and shit? If you have to. Yeah. Fuck her, bro. And fuck that dog for barking. All right. That was What Would You Do? Coming up next, DJ Godfather and the Way Back Wednesday Mix. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. Shout out to DJ Godfather way, way back Wednesday mix. Everybody that was uh, called into What Would You Do has been using this weird... What's it called? I still don't know the... Uh, Zoom. Zoom. Has been using Zoom. That's our, that's our workaround so that we can actually get calls. We're not special like the other shows. We got to actually fucking like hustle up and get calls. So the way that... And I'm not dissing the other shows. Shout out to the other shows. Um, we just... The way our shit's worked uh, out, we're just kind of fucked. Uh, so you got you got a Texas number 213-205-3747. And then it's usually around 11 in the morning Pacific time. 
Uh, I'll send. I'll send you. I'll send you a. I'll send you a fucking link to call to call in at eleven in the morning Pacific time. Uh, for that for that hour, so you can call when that whenever during that hour, and uh, the earlier the better. And we whether it's what would you do, feel good Friday, any of that shit. You want you want to be a part of it? We got you. All you got to do is fucking call or text 213-205-3747. And thanks to everybody that's been texting it and being a part of the show. You're really helping the show move along. Uh, Like I said, like this show ain't much without y'all. I talk a lot of shit, but we got some of the realest callers on the radio. And uh, we appreciate all of y'all. So 213-205-3747. Also, I dropped mixes, pill mixes. Um, it's White People Wednesday. I, instead of, you know how they got Yacht Rock? Well, I got a Coke on the boat. I, I think, I think I'm think i going to drop my Coke on the boat series today. If Keenan's ready, I'm about to write down all of, all of the shits and have Keenan drop a Coke on the boat. And uh, you text pill mix to 213-205-3747. We send out pill mixes as well. And uh, I'll send you the Coke on the boat for the white people Wednesday and then pill mix for the weekend. Boom. Well, who else is just look, I'm just giving you I'm just giving you stuff to listen to. Left and right. Also podcasts, any podcasts I do, I send it out to you. You get it. Everybody gets it. That's how it goes. Um appreciate you. Um let's play some music. Come back with news from the chin. To the all out show with you. And now, it's time for News from the Chin with John C. Matthews. Turns out couples who regularly show physical affection have happier relationships. And I'm talking about sort of hand holding, stroking, and just being nice. Bro, those motherfucking 15 year old Mexicans must just be. Over, they just must be the happiest, most overjoyed motherfuckers I've ever seen. Cause you ever, uh, you you see them at the bus stop, they be fucking sure. They be coupled the fuck up, booed up, leaning up on each other, feed each other flaming hot Cheetos and shit. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Usually the dude will be all in shape and the chick will be look like a fucking ice cream cone and her skinny jeans with all the fat pouring out the top. But, oh. <laughs> am I wrong? No, that's some bad that. ones, but like, yo, that's L.A., bro. To the fullest. But uh, that joke aside, man, like, uh, yeah, it makes sense, man. You see them couples out there, or like you can tell they're having a good sexual, you can tell they have good sex or some shit. Every now and again, I'll catch a dude like grab his girl's ass and give her a look like, oh, I'm about to fuck you up later. You know what I mean? And they go, you see the girl all giggle up inside. You know, like, that's cool, man. Like, I like that. You should, you, shit should be like that. So, like, looking at your wife, like, Fucking bitch, you choke on something. Time to go to work. Fucking, fucking die. But do you do that uh, when you're with a lady? Goes, Argue with the fucking manager again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's fifty cents. It's fifty fucking cents, Brenda. I ain't gonna, I, do I, I, I ain't gonna call her Karen. What's that? I, I have a tough time seeing you sort of walking down the street holding hands with a a woman. Do you do that? Are you? Sort of I don't hold hands with nobody and if if they're my girl I'll I'll be physically affectionate like if they're my girl I'll hold hands with them but you know I can still be affectionate I'm affectionate but I'm not that's not like couple shit like I'm I'm like your fucking hookup guy so it's a little different You'd want what I do with the hookup guy shit mixed with like loving <laughs> <laughs> loving touches and tender caresses and the arm around you like I got you shit not just pure sexual mix with kindness 
since these women typically don't stay the night, I, I'm, I'm guessing there's not a lot of spooning and uh, caressing late into the night. Nah. When me and when me and my uh, when me and my ex went crazy the other weekend, there was like there was there, we spooned because you uh, know I got love for her. I got love for her you know like right just didn't work out. But uh, yeah, she was, I was fucking up. Yeah, I think we even fell asleep that way. I was like, all right, let's go to bed. Woke up and said, let's go to bed, turned around, and then went to actual sleep, sleep. <laughs> like, okay, enough of that shit. Enough of that smoke, spoony, woony shit. Let's take your ass to bed. Well, it does say here, though, for men, physical intimacy is a nice extra, but for women, it's a necessity. So you're really uh, depriving these, these ladies of this, this tender, loving touch of yours. I can't really see you being that, like... I can't see you like <laughs> but like I can't see you talking to your girl you know at wherever you take your chick to um, mm -hmm. Arby's or some shit yeah. you got Arby's with you and your girl splitting the beef and chatter and uh it's delicious taking the the two back of your fingers and like stroking her cheek <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm an affectionate person. You'd be surprised. I I don't mind walking down the street holding somebody's hand. Love that. That's awesome. You spooning? I'm all holding about hands it. and shit. Yeah. Look yeah. At <laughs> I know, but when you spoon, you be on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. When you spoon, you're on the inside. You're like spoon me, <laughs> cuddle up. So I'm a good student. Uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Keep me warm, and safe. That little titty sucking don't sound that bad. To be real with you, I'm not mad at that. <laughs> whatever, whatever you want to do. This is a good one. Sounds like a big sexual four year old for <laughs> any ladies that want to get involved with them. Yep. Yeah, infantilizing. Like me. No. Yeah, he's like a sexual four year old. Not true, mommy. Mommy a diaper. No. Uh, tell me I was Wait. bad. <laughs> This is See, he likes that shit, y'all. No, he falls. He's like, he, <laughs> he, just, uh, I, I, he like that shit. I would freak out if that were part of my life. That's not happening. Wait, um, they're saying it. This is good. All right. There's some evidence that holding your partner's hand while you're arguing de-escalates the argument. So you could just reach out and then sort of have this, this moment of intimacy while you guys are freaking out. Hold her hand. Look at that. I gotta work on that shit, man. Real talk. I got like I got this problem where like if I'm upset, I can't be touched. Like I just like if it gets uh -oh. to a certain if it gets to a certain point, like I just turn off and I can't be touched. And like this isn't like bragging about what a tough guy I am. If anything, it's just it's like it's kind of like what a bitch I am. Like you gotta be, get be able to get over that shit and be able to deal with some fucking shit but yeah like if i'm fucking if i'm pissed and someone tries to tries to put like hey what's up like stroke me, like get the fuck away from me man don't say shit to me don't talk to me <laughs> that sounds i'm done difficult like it gets to it gets to a point where it's just like i'm done like ain't no ain't no touching no hugging no uh, nothing none of that i'm done <laughs> so i'm 42 and single so there you go there you go how to be 42 and single just listen to jude <laughs> so funny man the shit people get from this show dog like it's crazy you catch me like yeah man you wilding out man like this guy's got this nice fucking house and home, uh like a, a good wife some kids oh man you wilding out man I wish i could do like like do like what you do it's like man like after the fucking fifth girl like fifth random just chick that you just ran through on some crazy drug rage and the hangover the next day and like you're coming into work just like fuck dude it's not that cool man it's pathetic it's sad it's sad you it's my jokes are my jokes are funny and shit but and i claim them but they're sad y'all like this shit is not fucking cool man like grow up get you a girl you cope with the pain. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm just out here, just dealing, just dealing, dealing with my nervous energy the best I can, and that's by slinging dick, slinging this dick, doing these drugs. It's crazy. I wasn't on drugs yesterday, and everybody's like, "Oh, you're high as hell." And like, no, nah, I'm fucking sober. And this is what it looks like when I'm sober. I'm way cooler looking when I'm on drugs. Way cooler. Hmm. Super cool. What else? Okay. Looks like the hateful people online typically have uh, smaller social networks. So the ones with large ones are more civil online. So when these dickheads come after you, just click over there and you'll see, you know, Stevie 47 has like 12 oh, followers yeah. or something. Trust. <laughs> Trust. The fucking me and the Arab cat that I blazed, which I got then got reported on. It's cool. Yeah. Blaze on a white motherfucker all you want. Say so every white stereotype. That's cool. As soon as as soon as I fucking as soon as as soon as the tables turn and I got smoke for you. Boop. I'm fucking hate crime. So that bitch made motherfucker. Uh yeah, he had like fifty motherfuckers. You know what I mean? And the only reason why I answered him was so that I had something to post. Oh, oh God, let me. Yeah, let me, I mean the me, people who are really hostile, just fucking ignore them. The people who really come after me, I mean, I don't even pay attention. I'm like, eh, okay, man. Fuck. Nah, this is what you do, John. Like, let them put that shit up. I keep it up for about three, four hours, and then I just block everybody. If you like that shit, you get blocked. I'm like, bitch. Like, we don't need no cheerleaders here. I can't have nobody co-sign. Like, if you come at me on some fucking bullshit, like, with no reasons, calling me names, no reasons, poisoning the well, I just leave it up. I, sometimes I'd be like, explain yourself, and they can't. Done. They're done. Block the shit out of them. <laughs> I do, and I block their friends. Like, wow. fuck you and all them cheerleaders. No, I don't need that shit. I'm over here trying to fucking sell things and stuff. I need some fucking 22 fucking follower ass lame with the reel in front of that. They, they got the reel in front of their fucking name and shit. The real Mars MC or whatever. The real MC Mars or the well, bitch like who the fuck like the re you got sixty followers, man. You ain't real shit. Or DJ such and such with fucking twenty like twenty motherfucker. You got less followers than 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 I had people at my birthday party in my apartment, bro. <laughs> it's and just so a strange DJ. Thing. When, when these people are so hostile online, I mean, their lives must be just so peculiar if they just sit there and just type out. And you can tell when someone's being serious. I mean, I don't give a shit about jokes. I mean, I could do that all day long. But some, when someone is really hateful, you're like, whoa, man, what the fuck's going on in your world? This is how you're man, spending your free them, time. Bro. Yeah, bro, like, I'm on, I'm on some fuck dumb shit. I'm on some fuck dumb shit. I let, like I said, I, I let them get their little, I let them put their shit in. If I see it, sometimes I don't see it, it gets by. But if I see it, I let them get that little shit in. Yo, and if you want if you want to co-sign some if you're if here's the deal. If if you see some shit where someone's calling me something and not giving a reason for it, and you co-sign that shit, you're erased. If if I see it, you're gone. You disappeared. We don't, you no longer, we, we just exist right here and right here. No, we're not going to be online doing it. And I think the reason is, is like, like you said, they ain't got shit else going on, bro. Yeah, they, they got nothing else going on in their fucking life. So they come on there with like all this anger and rage and opinions and they want to fucking, they, they want, they, they want some attention. They, they, they fucking. What's the most popular thing everyone's thinking? Well, I'm going to say that. It's either that or what's the least popular thing. But it's way safer to say what's the most popular thing because they'll, nowadays they'll kick your ass off. Back in the day, you could like troll and fucking not, you know, be able to it still exist. You can't do that shit no more. So now they're just like, what's the, what's the most popular thing everybody believes in? I'm going to fucking yell that really loud. Get a bunch of likes. Feel feel good about myself for a minute. Or I'm gonna go with this fucking dude. 
if you're doing that, man, take a look at your life. Like, yo, man, like, go find some real meaning, dog. Like, this is just Twitter. This is just Instagram. This is just fucking whatever fucking fake world that we've decided that it is real. Like, ultimately, it's empty, man. It's just nothing. Just go, go find some real shit. Just and find some joy. And if you don't know how to find joy, I don't know. Find something you like. Write down some things that you want to accomplish and start trying to accomplish them. Start with that. Put your energy towards that instead of fucking screaming at John for no goddamn reason. <laughs> it's not exactly too productive. Fucking fag and- idiot. <laughs> <laughs> fucking in, up in the show. D- in, in the DMs, that's always the, the most sort of strange to me, where I'm like, whoa, man. I, mean, I don't block him. I just like, oh, you're having a rough day, apparently. I'd block like, him. Yo, if it gets to a point where these motherfuckers are sliding into your DMs, and you're like, bro, you're not even doing this for attention. You just do it like, for like mass <laughs> attention. You, you're not even bringing out. this shit up just, just to have someone fucking pat you on the back. You're like, you just fucking cussing me out like on some road. No private shit? Like, nah, bro. Fucking miss me. Yeah. Am I ass? That's me. All right, go ahead. What else? It's like, okay. Uh, well, just, just to explain that. All right, I mean, keep going. Just, well, just one thing on that. So the people who have these small social networks, they, they live in this, as you can imagine, this sort of uh, bubble, and they, they don't, they're not exposed to sort of uh, plenty of ideas. So they're just living in this sheltered, fucked up world, consumed by their hate. But at any rate... All right. That's what I'm they say about like in, that's what they say about incels, which is the, there's truth to it, but like it's on the flip side too. You know. It's on both sides. Like everybody's doing it. They get stuck right. in these little worlds where they're like eh, 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 eh. And maybe one person might go outside, but they're just going outside and hang on the same t- same person that's yelling the same thing to them over and over again. I yeah. see it all the time. I'll be like, "Did you hear about this news thing?" And they'll be like, "No." I'm like, wow, what a fucking idiot you are. I heard about every news thing you just told me about, and you don't know about this news. You're, and and you got all these views of the world, you fucking moron. I had another thing. So like, shut the fuck up. Good people. Good, good fucking, nah, not good people. Fucking <laughs> yeah. bad people. I don't know what, we, this, that's when we started losing. When we started letting fucking idiots have a voice, psh, Boy, oh boy. It was way harder, like, back in the 1800s if you're an idiot. You know what I mean? Like, way harder to have a voice. You had to go find, like, a printing press. You know, you had to go through, like, 50 things. You really had to, like, mean what the fuck you were saying. It wasn't just as easy as, like, downloading an app and, like, do 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 Seven keystrokes. Boom. Here's my hose of haze. Yeah. Straight up. So all that makes sense. All right, so we got... Uh, hug your hug your girl or guy, fellas, and um, make some friends and find meaningful shit outside of outside of the internet. Bam! Look at that. Good suggestions. Now, I don't think that this is going to bring friends your way, but on Twitter right now, men are balancing shampoo bottles on their uh, on their hard on dicks. their dicks. You know, that's impressive. And I, and are they impressive. full shampoo bottles? Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I got I, why. bro. A full Why shampoo bottle is heavy, bro. Yeah. That's, oh, that's a know. strong erection. That's a strong erection. They that's why they're doing, doing it. Like, yeah, they're really fucking... Because that uh, the dick weights that I was using... That was, that's not... That's that was at the bottom, so the, the even the angle of where the, uh, where the weight's coming from is different. Like... You you holding a full? Is it at the how? You, you want to send me? A well, I, I just I, I just sent you uh, the hashtag in your uh, in your text. So if you search for this hashtag, which is uh, shampoo challenge or shampoo bottle challenge, so typically the ones that I found quickly, the guys have on I don't know underwear or something like that, and they've got these raging erections that sort of. Uh, swing off to the side and then with that bump then they put the shampoo bottle on that and then they're taking these giant toothy grinned 
snapshots and uh, shown it to the world. Not sure I'd do that. Oh, I'm, that's not look. Oh, that's not that hard. I right, come on. Could you? I mean, could you do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You right. can do that, bro. Think right. about it because. I thought it was like your dick is sticking straight out and you're balancing that shit, which is like two oh, levels. Yeah. One, you got to be able to balance <laughs> yeah. shampoo. One, you got to be able to like balance some shampoo. And then two, you got to have the strength in your dick to hold a full bottle, which I don't know, which is like a pound or some shit like that. You got to be able to hold hold a full bottle and not like, like a pebble pound, but like this long ass seven inch pound balancing on your fucking dick. Like that's amazing. This shit, that like yo, real talk. I'm like yo, hire that motherfucker to be in every goddamn porn movie if he's if he's crushing it like that. Like if my man is out there crushing it like that, just balancing, balancing full bottles of shampoo on his goddamn dick. He's got like yeah. salon selectors all on his dick, like just crushing that shit. Like what, bitch? This shit is. Yeah, I could do this. Yeah, maybe I'll try. Cause it. I don't it's new. Because cause they're wearing the tidy whities and basically what what happens is your hard dick becomes a shelf. Right. So your tidy whities is, is pushing your hard dick up against your the, your leg or some shit like that. And that lump becomes a shelf in which you can put anything on it. It's not that impressive. All right. I'm well, like, congratulations, are- you got a big dick, but like... It's not, it's not like you're, yeah, it's not like, no. It's not magically impressive, but these guys are impressed so much so they want to show it to the world what they're gaining out of this. I don't know. I mean, do, do women find this kind of thing hot? Are, are they, they're chicks like looking who's... at dicks and shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they don't want it in their fucking DMs all the time, but they'll look at it. They like a, they enjoy a nice penis. This one right here is a little bit, this one here is a little more impressive. He, he's doing his boxers. Oh yeah, he's he's doing it in his boxers, but even that, like, the bottles wider, so the the uh, the bottles wider, so the shit is fucking um, the weight is distributed differently. Well, god damn, I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, you, you like this one? motherfucker, like, <laughs> he, he, he. This rock hard cock, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, dude, for real. And he's like, oh, oh, he's taking the picture. Was I thought he was checking his like? I thought he was like checking his phone too. But uh, <laughs> like, why do I get, like? Yo, man, you you're wearing some special kind of fucking underwear. If I can just see like the whole sculpture of your dick, oh, like every know. fucking line, <laughs> like yo, son, the, what the fuck are you wearing, dog? Like it's hugging every line. He's like. Not even a leotard does that. Even not even a condom does that. A condom just smashes everything in. His shit look just looked like it was spa- his dick was spray painted gray, and he was like, "Hey, boom! Ugh. You already know. You already know. You but we're gonna have we're gonna have about fifty of our challengers doing the fucking fifty of our people doing about the doing that challenge. Fifty is a fair number. Yep." That that's that's my guess. Fifty people are gonna do that shit. Send it to John. Yeah, please. Over at John Z Matthews. Want to see those cocks? No. Yeah, put at John Z Matthews. <laughs> no. Yo, you should do that shit, John. Uh, I'll, I'll do it, but do I'm like gonna post it. I'm gonna try do that yeah, down and post that shit. Yeah, that, like what, bitch? So, Anything you do is just gonna get you no more pussy, you know? Because right now you're at zero pussy, so everything you do will get you more pussy. I, at this point, I've got nothing to lose. So nah, nah, game on. Some Let's chick, go. yeah. There might have been some chick that was gonna fuck you, then she saw that. Oh. Now she's not gonna. But like, bitch, if you were gonna fuck him, you would have fucked him by now. So fuck you. Bring it on. That's why I look at it. I do what I do. My man was my man was talk, talking to me about that shit. Shout out, shout out to Big John. He was talking to me about that, like, in like raising money, and then the shit that I post and the shit that I talk. Oh man, I can't believe you said that shit. Like, I got a whole bunch of phone calls on that post you said about women and da 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 da, and it's like all phone tongue calls. in cheek. Okay. Like his homies, because a bunch of people follow me, and a gang of people follow me without claiming they follow me, because my shit's so grimy. 
And he's like, man, I got all these phone calls saying that. And I was like, after he left, I'm like, that's cool. Like, a lot of people was, couldn't believe I posted it. All those those same people that couldn't believe I posted it were those same people that ain't giving me no motherfucking money anyway. So fuck them. I'm going to keep doing me. Like, fuck them. I'm going to keep doing me. Like, that's it. Like, yeah. Just do you, bro. Do do the fucking challenge. Just don't tag me. I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Fucking no shame. John. John hmm. and some chicks bat in the, in the chick bathroom. <laughs> with, with with 257 beauty products out laid out on the fucking countertop and he's sitting there with this crazy fucking his crazy dead eye <laughs> dick to the side and his fucking weird boxers I, if if you do do it i suggest you get some tight some tight tidy 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 like jog you know like them tight fucking shits to do it off in uh, I've got some athletic ones from the the boxing yeah. place I could wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do some athletic. Use use your athletic ones and do a fucking John Z. Matthews boxing shit. I wonder if boxing. I get evicted if I if I use her shampoo. But I'll probably won't do that. No. Why don't you just go to the fucking dollar store and get a fucking shampoo? No. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not gonna use her shampoo. Right. You might go so. viral, bro. <laughs> You I'm saying, bro, now. you might go motherfucking viral. John Z. Matthews mm -hmm. might go. Vi you might go viral. Fuck around this and go it. viral. Before and after. Big chance. Yep. The shampoo challenge. That's what. Yep. John before the shampoo challenge. John after the shampoo challenge. That's the shit people want from you, bro. <laughs> people want. <laughs> they people want to see John Z. Matthews doing this wacky shit. That's it. That's all. Well, let's see if I can deliver. All right, we'll see. Got my fingers crossed for you. What else? I do. I do some good news for you if you want that. Yeah. And now, time for good news. I didn't even know this, but the largest Arctic ozone hole ever recorded has now closed. So hey, I think everyone's, you go. A little, everyone's a little distracted by other things, as you know. But this record-breaking ozone hole has healed, and yeah, it was not a due to sigh of relief. Out. Uh, How big was it? No, it uh, looks like it was about the size of Greenland. I think that's pretty that. big. That's from back in the '80s, from all the Aquanet and shit. Everything was aerosol. Well, this like, was hey. a different one. And th this was this a different was, one. Really? Um, right. Yeah, because th this one just opened up because of some sort of atmospheric anomaly, and they were saying that this could be a problem. Uh, but thankfully, just due to the ebb and flow of uh, atmospheric conditions, it, it closed up. So it's healing. So you don't have to worry so about that. So what you're now. telling me is that sometimes, so that sometimes shit that has to do with the earth and its atmosphere is just weird earth shit. And then it gets fixed by weird earth shit. The earth uh, it has its, its move. That's what you're saying, right? That, Things that's happen. what you're saying? Life Nature so sometimes, happens. yeah, like things change within the climate and stuff like that, and yeah, yeah, I know where you're going. Some, with this. Sometimes <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, like sometimes, like well, that ice age that they had like thirty thousand years back or whatever that that shit was fucked up because not enough people were driving, you know, mm. and uh, yeah. What what happened? Tundra's the bullshit. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, nah, I mean, fuck. Uh, <laughs> there wasn't enough people driving and using fossil fuels, so he had that fucking ice age. And I don't know how he unhad the ice age, so shit. Just got lucky. Got really lucky. So, there you go. There you fucking go. To all the scientists out, uh, to all to all my scientist listeners out there with their fucking opinions, I'm just I'm just smart enough to know I'm a fucking dumbass. So like when I got another when I got someone stupider than me telling me about shit, I'm like shut the fuck up, shut up, you fucking idiot. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're just sprouting off shit, spouting off shit that you read in the blog. Fucking moron. I need to talk to real mother. Talk. Let me talk to some real somebody with a lab coat. 
and then I might listen to them. There you go. There you go. A natural, uh, a naturally occurring uh, ozone hole closed up naturally. So crisis averted. Crisis averted. Boom. I slept. I slept good last night, and I was wondering why. And that's probably it. That is probably it. Never know. So there it is. Whoop! There it is. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get this go. That's the news. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. All right, that was the show. Thanks to Jeremy. Thanks to Jeremy for coming back. He's actually done with his uh, internship. Did a great job, but he's just been coming back and helping out with the show. And really appreciate it. Kanan handling all of the fucking online shit. He's doing all the mixtape shit. Uh, putting it, putting that shit together, which is not easy, and he's doing it. So thank you, John. Uh, is bas- basically is bootlegging his way into us having a show every single day, and Dan has been our our fucking man, connecting everything together from Minnesota and allowing us to run a show to you all nationally and do some just do be able to do some live shit during during these times. All right, have a good one, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Let's go.